Hello again everybody and welcome to another edition of On The Range. And today I have another off the wall topic. This is in response to a question about mission design. And the gist of it was how do I have an aircraft spawn early enough to give myself time to do the ramp start, taxi, take off, and then still make it to the target at a specific time, meeting a time on target. And well, it's actually very, very simple. It just takes some planning on the mission designer's part. So let me set something up and this will be just a typical setup that you would see in a DCS mission. Now the time they were looking for to enter the aircraft and begin the startup was 1615. So I just come up here to the mission options, type in 1615, and this is going to dictate when the simulation starts. And so no matter what, you're going to enter the aircraft or enter the simulation at 1615 and then everything else is just based off of that. So let me add my A-10 flight. So I'll select A-10C. I'll place them on the ground at Nellis. I'll make sure it's the player. I'll say take off from ramp. I'll put them on the golf ramp. Just pick one at random. We'll just say golf three. And there you can see that the start time is 1615. So that's going to by default match that start time that I set in the briefing. Now we need to add some waypoints, so I'm just going to click a waypoint to get myself airborne, and then I'll just fly up to Creech, I'll say that's the target that I'm going to bomb, and then I'll come back and I'll make sure that waypoint 3 is the landing waypoint. Now as I plop these down, you can see that waypoint 0 is the initial position, this starts at 1615, if I select waypoint 1, that's 161616, 16, 16. so that's the time that the onboard navigation system is going to base everything off of, that's your sort of desired time on target, and that's going to make the time on target for Creech, the target itself, 1624. So that's obviously not going to be enough time to get into the aircraft, get everything started up, taxi, take off, and then make it, there's just no way that's going to happen. But this does take care of the first criteria that they were looking for of starting the mission in 1615. So now we get into timing for takeoff and then a time on target up at Creech. And for the takeoff, what I'm going to do is just make sure that this first steer point is selected. And then we can see over here under our selections we have a speed and an ETA block. Right now the speed is set to 270 and that's ground speed and you can see that the checkbox is checked. I'm going to uncheck it. And I'm going to check ETA. Now they were looking for a 1630 takeoff time and a 1645 time on target up Creech. So what I'm going to do is just make this, so oh, let's just say 1630 30. And that's going to just automatically adjust the downstream timing as well. You know, originally we we're looking at 1620 something as a time on target at Creech. And now, based on that new time for steer point one, we're looking at 1639 as the time on target. Now that's still a little bit early. They were looking for a 1645 time on target. So again, I just uncheck the speed box. I check the ETA box and I go 1645 as the time on target. And you can see that in fact, the speed with the times set up as they are from steer point one to steer point two, that's going to be 159 knots ground speed. So I have a lot of time to kill between steer point one and steer point two. But that will get you in the right ballpark when it comes to aircraft systems. Now, as with everything in DCS and everything in life, it's never that simple. So I set steer point one to 163030, steer point two to 1645. So what I would expect is for the A10 onboard navigation system to have, for example, for steer point two at Creech, 1645 is the desired time on target but I suspect that's not going to be exactly the case. Let me jump into the aircraft real quick and see what it says for us. And now on the ramp with the aircraft just powered up in a basic configuration, it's 1620 now, so we've been up and running for five minutes. If I select steer point one, this is the one that I placed just to get us going off the end of the runway. We are 12 minutes and 10 seconds from the time on target for that one. If I go to steer point two, we had 26 minutes, 30 seconds to reach that target. Now we had in the editor 16.45 set as the time on target for steer point 2. Now if I come over to waypoint, you can see that my desired time on target is 16.46.55. So the mission editor math doesn't exactly match up with the A10 navigation system math. So to make this work, it would take a little bit of tweaking on the pilot's part. So we'll just say 16.45.00. Now that's going to update the desired time on target to 1645. And now the countdown to that time is at 23 minutes and 45 seconds. 
Now for most missions, that's going to be good enough, just in the right ballpark. Most missions aren't built around time on target at all, but the capability is there. Now, to get rid of the requirement for the player to come in and adjust desired time on target, there's one other thing that you could do, and I'm sort of beyond the scope of what I think the original question was. I hope that I answered it with just simply checking the ETA checkbox and then updating that to be your desired time on target for the takeoff or the steer points or whatever you want to be at at a specific time. But on steer point 2 we have 1645 and we just saw that when I enter the aircraft that isn't exactly the desired time on target in the aircraft weapon system. So to get that to match up, and I've never actually tried this but in theory you're supposed to come up to flight and prepare mission. Okay, so again, I'm just going to come up to steer point 2. I'm going to select waypoint. And there we go, 1646.55. I'm just going to change that again to 1645.00. And I'm going to exit the mission. So what I think is going to happen here is when I enter the mission again, that's going to be automatically updated and set for. So let's go ahead and start. And when I re-enter the mission, the steer point 2 desired time on target is saved at 1645. No action required on the player's part. And again, I'll add a big, big caveat with the prepare mission function. I've never used it. I don't know what the pitfalls are or what works or what doesn't. But if you're serious about getting time on target set up, that is, well, at least one way to do it. So folks, that's going to do it for this edition. That was just how to get an aircraft onto the ramp with enough time to run through a startup and then still make the time on targets that are set for the different waypoints in the mission. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.